22 and then in their 40s. This is Tiger Woods in 1997. Of course, that's Jack Nicklaus at the 1963 Masters en route to winning. But we'll just take a closer look at Tiger and Jack. Jack sets up with his ball further, be his head further behind the ball. Um, and they both, look at the right scapula of both of them. I mean, we're talking huge athletic turns. Of course, look at Jack's lower body, though. And that, to me, is why he's had such longevity and an impact. Both of them had their heads turned to the right. Uh, that's not a coincidence. Uh, I believe that uh, inhibits the right side in transition, so you get that great separation, and then you're able to uh, to release and rotate through the golf ball. Of course, Tiger Woods down the line again in 1997, and of course, the great Jack Nicklaus. This was uh, at uh, the Piccadilly Medal. Uh, of course, obviously very cold, but watch Jack Nicklaus in transition, as we're going to see Tiger Woods are both very upright golf swings, but I want you to watch the right shoulder of Jack Nicklaus. It goes down, and the elbow goes out. The right shoulder does not go straight to the golf ball in transition. You almost have a feeling like you're uh, you're losing an arm wrestling contest in transition with your right elbow. This is Tiger Woods in action yesterday. That's Jack Nicklaus winning the 1980 U.S. Open. And, of course, uh, you take a look at their golf swings. Neither one of them set the club very quickly off of the ball. Both of them moved laterally just a little bit. Jack moved up. But, look, even in 1980, how upright Jack Nicklaus's golf swing was. Look at his hip turn. No restriction there. Much restriction with Tiger Woods. Jack's right hip is moving towards the target. Tiger's is moving up. But again, this is the problem that I was talking about as we look at Tiger Woods. On the left in 1997, I just want you to watch his right elbow, okay, because his right elbow moves towards his right hip. And over on the right, you'll see that his right elbow moves straight down. In transition, Tiger Woods in 1997 had a commonality that almost every single great ball, ball striker has. Their right elbow moves towards the front of their right hip. There's a technical term for that. It's called transfer induction. But whether you want to call it that or just moving in a direction towards like you're losing an arm wrestling contest, you cannot have the right elbow move straight down in transition without having a number of compensatory moves 